Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be going over the data download on the global side of Dokkan Battle. Now there's a couple new units here, there's nothing too crazy, but we do have the new Thousand Day Login Goku. We have the new Dokkan Awakening for Pan from the, uh, the, the event that she does for the experience. The new low class warrior Raditz and his Dokkan form. So technically three units and one Dokkan Awakening. Um, really awesome setup that's coming on. So this is going to be a video where I'm going to talk about the new units, go over the details of those units, and talk about their best linking buddies and technically teams if you have one for like Raditz or something like that. So we can go ahead and go over all that information. Now, if you guys know about the team building and know about the units, this video might not be for you. If you guys have heard of it on the JP side, I did do a video about this. So if you already saw that, this might be covering some regular territory, but I don't believe I did an actual Raditz low class warrior team building guide. So we're going to cover that in this video. So first off, we're going to talk about the one that everyone's probably wondering about. That's the thousand day login bonus Goku, thousand fold plea Goku. So he is an LR that's delivered to your gift box. He is an amazing unit. He has a great leader ability and a good passive skill and some decent link skills. So let's go ahead and talk about him. His leader ability, all types, key plus three HP attack and defense plus 100%. Really good all around unit because of the fact that he could do this. He, If you guys are missing any 120 leaders, he will be a nice villain. Not the best because remember, he won't be getting any buffs on the extreme teams, but he'll at least be giving everyone else a buff. And if you if this is the only one that you have that doesn't get the buff, keep him off rotation and at least he'll only be around like once every three turns or something like that. Um, overall, really solid unit. His super attacks are spirit bomb and super spirit bomb between 12 the 17 and 18 plus key spirit bomb does colossal damage to the enemy and raises allies attack by 20 percent for one turn and the mega colossal super spirit bomb does increases allies attack and defense by 25 percent for one turn overall solid unit these are really only good if you're going to keep him on primary rotation um i mean he's not bad if you want to run multiple different units on the same team that you typically wouldn't be able to do before i personally really like him uh his passive skill move to tears attack plus 77 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus 7%. I kind of feel like that's low, but considering the uh, actual base stats that he has and the uh, fact that he's an LR uh, with the dupe system you get to give to him, he, he that, that 7% is definitely more than worth it. I, I though personally, I would prefer maybe like 10 to 12% or something like that, but I feel like that would be a little bit too OP. Uh, he also recovers 7,777 HP per orb obtained. It's not by rainbow or not by type. So his attack and defense and HP all will go up. Personally, like if you run him next to a Weirus, though they don't link well together, Weirus will slowly set him up so that way you get some HP regeneration and a nice attack buff. Um, it will definitely be beneficial to you. Uh, his link skills are Z Fighters, all in the family experience, fighters prepared for battle, supreme power, the same lineage, and legendary power, and he's part of the Majin Buu Saga category. So if you are running that Super Vegito, then this will be a good category for you to bring this guy on if you're looking to have an LR on your team, or if you're looking to fill in a spot for maybe a not so good unit. Um, his max stats are HP of 13,872, attack of 12,548, and defense of 7,429. If you fill in the base dupe system, it's HP of 15,872, attack of 14,548, defense of 9,429, and full dupe system is HP of 18,872, attack of 17,948, and defense of 12,029 ridiculous stats over here he is an lr though and you get him from the thousand day login bonus awesome unit really really going to love having it personally i am at day 925 from my login today so i still have another 75 days which is about two and a half months so i won't have him until uh, not may june i'll probably have him by the middle of june most likely and then when i get him oh my gosh i'll be doing definitely some demos unfortunately unlike all the other youtubers who are probably going to be showcasing him soon or whoever already showcased him on the jp side um, i will not be able to do that for a while um, i also am behind on my jp side since i started jp a couple months after i started global so keep that in mind as well. Um, his super attack spirit bomb, after 18 key, he uses a uh, super spirit bomb. Maximum super attack level is 20, which increases his attack by 30% on top of the super attack 20 boost. 12 key multiplier is 140% and 20 feet for, uh, 24 key multiplier is 200%. 
Um, really awesome unit. Again, um, let's go talk about his best linking buddies. He has three best linking buddies. Two of them are currently available on the global side. One is going to be this LR Gohan. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a zoom in over here. We have this LR Kid Gohan over here. Four link skills over here. Um, it looks like this is the Sun Family for the defense plus 15% up. Saiyan Blood for one key. Z Warrior for 15% attack buff. And Legendary Power for an attack plus 5,000, which, meh, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this Gohan myself. Uh, but you know what if you're trying to run an LR team or if you're just going for some fun because you, you like both these units go for it uh, The other one that's here is the Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta not currently available on the global side They do link for four key uh, for four link skills though uh, Salt uh, experienced fighters Saiyan warrior race or sorry Saiyan blood um, at, Prepared for battle and legendary power. So again, there you go three key ten percent and the one probably a little Well, I'm not sure if it's more common. He is more of a free-to-play unit um, He's actually a really awesome linking buddy if you have him um, Sun family defense plus 15% up experience fighter, which is attack plus 10% up Z warrior for 15% and It looks like supreme power for attack and defense plus 1000 so that Goku will Doken Waken from the Monumental Dreams Goku. Uh, it looks like over here we got him from the Worldwide campaign. So you can go ahead and grab him. He also, well, you can't grab him, but if you if you already have him, that's awesome. I do, so these two are going to link very well together. Uh, unfortunately, he's also a nuker type attack, plus 7% for every key orb obtained. And when he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens to this unit over here, um, which I actually need to go over here for you so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um... Attack and defense plus 10% for every key orb obtained. Apologies about that. I'll go back and show you the unit. Um, this is who he's going to link very well with. Uh, again, not the best. He is a nuker type like the other unit. Uh, but this is who you're going to want to run next to him if you happen to have him. Unfortunately, you can't do his Undokon variant because they're both named Goku. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be one of his best linking buddies in this game. So you, this one's free to play. This one's free to play. This one is currently not available. This one you were only able to get if you were here for the login bonuses and this one you're only able to get if you have an op team to take on one of the super battle roads so it's kind of like eh, what can you do in terms of links um in terms of key orb manipulation you have weirus you have boo and you have fascia there are other key orb manipulators go ahead to the dokon battle wiki type in key change um in order for you to look up for key orb manipulators i just did the two strength ones and weirus because weirus is notable for the key orb manipulation since they changed two to one uh, two different types to one type uh, this will give this goku the best ability uh, i prefer strength because uh, uh, specifically you will be getting the additional key from well the additional health from his passive but because it's strength you will also get an additional health especially with that high high defense if you get his key orb like his health regeneration in the dupe system maxed out that will do a lot because the higher the defense is the more health you regenerate for getting the same key uh, type as the unit um, so those are the, the best ways you can do it. I'm not doing any team building with him, uh, particularly because, I mean, like, he doesn't have that many good link skills, and you're just going to be utilizing him for his leader ability, and you could pretty much run whoever you want with this unit. So go ahead, take that for what you will. I, there's not really a reason for me to do a team building guide, especially because his best, like, linking buddies are going to be these guys over here. And, like, one of them is ridiculously hard to get. Another one you were only able to get at one point. Another one's not available. We could drop this down to three. And when you drop it down to three, there's so many more units available. But go ahead to dokonbattlebuilder.com. See what you can build. Again, another thing about this is some of these units are, like, LRs, and some of them are really hard to get or are, just aren't available yet in-game. But let's go ahead over here now and jump into the Raditz. We have the new Raditz that is coming, and he's going to be available from an event. Um, this event is the Low Class Warrior Raditz's Pride. Um, pretty cool event. I mean, I, I didn't grind it out on the JP side myself. Uh, I, I didn't find any real reason to, just because, I mean, I, I, mean, I got the, 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 the Dragon Stones. That's about it. Uh, level 1 Raditz, the weakling. You get a new uh, support item over here. It's the Scouter. Allows you to find out... Um, super attacks for three turns from the enemy from the start from the start of the following turn and key plus two So that actually looks pretty awesome. Um, I, I don't personally use it myself, but um, I mean, I guess it's cool if you're trying to find out when the enemy is going to be doing super attacks. I guess it's just, I guess it depends on the type of event that you're running. Um, level two, Father's Dream, you also, you're going up against, um, uh, but this Bardock over here. This is where you get your Raditz drops and if you don't get Raditz It's cool. You get some good training locations, which is awesome You're definitely gonna want to get on the super attack 10 with all four dupe pads unlocked if you plan on getting him um, Level 3 Raditz is pride. Just you get some training items nothing too major Beat both of those levels just to get the dragon stones and then level 4 Raditz is battle to get the Doken Awakening medals to Doken Awaken him 
Um, it looks like here, characters from low class warrior category have an increased chance of extra drop, so bring low class warrior team. Um, stage 3, Le the actual Nimbus path leads to with many Cybermen. Uh, the gold Cybermen can appear, so when there's a stop, there's a gold Cybermen that will appear. Battle against these guys drops are, looks like you get the, the Z-Swords. So for every one of these Cybermen, you get a, a Z-Sword of that specific attribute type. Pretty interesting, it's Golden Cybermen. <laughs> A boss consists of four waves of Cybermen who drop on normal, it looks like, training items on Z-Hard more training items. Um, it looks like we also have some mission rewards that were available from the JP side, which should, should be the same on the global. Clear stage one for a rat. It's beat 20 times on stage T three. Uh, you get five scouters. 40 times, 60, 80. You get Hercule statues. 100 times on stage three, you get one Dragonstone. 200 on stage three, you get one uh, look at that, Grand Elder Kai, that's interesting that you get one Grand Elder Kai. Uh, 300 times on stage, what the hell, oh, 300 enemies, I'm sorry, not times, enemies. Uh, 300 enemies on stage 3, you get 5 of these training locations, 400, you get 5 training locations, 500, 2 Dragonstones, 600, uh, Grand Elder Kai, 700, 10 of each Z Sword for training, 800 enemies, you get one more training location, 900 enemies, you get three dragon stones, and 1,000 enemies, you get an Elder Kai. Holy garbage, there's so much grind on this. Level 3 is going to be such a pain in the butt. There's no reason for you to grind it either, because, like, literally all you're doing from this level is getting training items. I feel like they should have done it maybe on, like, level 4 or something like that, or maybe the entire event. That That's just ridiculous. I mean, 1,000 enemies you have to beat? I mean, that's just a grind fest for what? Ugh. Anyway, um, that's just my opinion on the matter. I think it's ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Raditz. It's Shocking, Arrival, Raditz, Leader Abilities, Low Class, Warrior, Key, plus 2, uh, HP, attack and well, HP and Defense, plus 30%, Attack, plus 50%, uh, Super Attack, Double Sunday, causes extreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense, Passive, First Contact, Attack, plus 40% at the start of the turn, Link Skills are the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Coward, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, and Prepared for Battle. Category is Low Class Warrior. Max stats are... Um, HP of 5300, attack of 8262, and defense of 3772. Uh, it's not. It's up to you if you want to do dupe system. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to take a look at the dupe system. I personally wouldn't fill it in myself. Uh, he has a 12 key multiplier of 135% and requires 20 of his own metals to Doken Awaken. When he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into Ruthless Invader Raditz. Leader ability is now low class warrior category key plus 4. HP and defense plus 40% and attack plus 80%, which doesn't seem too bad. Super attack is weekend, causes mass damage to all enemies and lowers defense, so that's cool. He does do an AoE, so for those of you who are missing an AoE, he's at least a free-to-play AoE. Um, again, mass damage doesn't do a lot, so he's definitely not going to take the place for a world tournament team, but at least you have the option to have another AoE if you don't happen to have one. Passive skill, Punishment of Fools, attack plus 50% at the start of the turn. Key plus 6, attack and defense plus 30% when facing two or more enemies, so uh, he's really never going to be useful in terms of battle. I think it's just going to be his leader ability. Link skills are the same lineage, same warrior race, coward, brutal beatdown, nightmare, prepared for battle, and shattering the limit. So he does have some decent link skills, which makes him a little bit more, I guess, viable. Category is low class warrior. Um, his max stats are going to be HP of 5850, attack of 8838, and defense of 4153. I feel like if they gave him his own dupe system, um, like orbs, then I would probably do it. But honestly, really not worth it in my opinion. Um, outside of that, 12 key multiplier is 140%. Um, let's go over here and talk about the actual unit. Best linking buddies in game. Um, let's go over here and switch over to Dokkan Battle Builder view. Uh, we have look, we have regular Turles over here. We have the Tech Turles. We have the Bardock. These two are going to be really good linking buddies for him. We have the Great Ape Raditz, which obviously is going to be a thing. And we have Mass Saiyan Bardock. All of them link really well together. Obviously, the best one is going to be the uh, his own buddy, his, his Great Ape version. Brutal Beatdown, Sane Warrior Race, Sane Lineage, Shattering the Limit, and Nightmare. So that's a 20% attack buff, a 700 flat out boost, and 3 key. Um, that's going to be his best. Outside of that, meh. Um, it looks like we have over here, this is going to be the Bardock. Bardock is 2, 4, 5 key and attack plus 700. Not so much, but he does share 4 link skills if you're looking for that key. Um, this one is going to be, this Turles is going to be, what, 2, 4 key. So he has a 4 key links, a 10% attack buff, and a 700 attack buff. And Mass Saiyan Bardock is going to be... 10% um, attack buff, 3 key, and attack plus 700. Personally, uh, I don't really see uh, this mass bar going to be on the... Like, these two aren't going to be on the same team whatsoever. They just link together. I needed to mention it. Um, unless you're learning, like, Mass Saiyan as your leader. Uh, but he's not part of that low-class warrior scene. Um, these are all the units, well, at least some, most of the units that are available on the low-class warrior scene. I guess I'm going to zoom out really quick so you can see everything. There are a lot of units. Um, essentially, every great ape 
um, is well, most of these great apes are low class warrior, um, especially like the um, Bardock's team. All of Bardock's team is low class warrior, um, and Turles is a low class warrior. So you have that, and you have the Raditz here. So then you also have like the base form Goku, the kid Gokus. Um, those guys are low class warriors. And outside of that, that's pretty much it. Uh, kid Gokus, all the great apes, and um, yeah. Uh, turtle, I guess, Barbox team. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what you got there. In terms of team building, this is what I came up with. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think you have the Turtles uh, right next to the other Turtles. Turtles Great Ape next to the regular Turtles. They share four key links, or five key links. Attack plus 700. Big Bad Bosses for attack plus 25% up. Attack and defense plus 25% up. Thirst for Conquest for 15%. Destroyer of the Universe for 25%. So, I mean, like, if all of them go off, that's 50, 65%. Uh, prepared for battle for two key and a flat out boost of 700 first i think that's really awesome and the other rotation you could have this goku over here who has a passive skill of attack plus 80 percent and this bardock right great ape which is attack plus 100 percent uh, when hp is 30 percent or above uh, they share three link skills as well which is going to be shattering limit transform and saying roar so four key and 25 percent you would keep the two raditzes off rotation because honestly they kind of suck in terms of their passives and then you have this goku if you happen to have him or any of the other ones that are that are low class warriors i just threw him there because he has one of the other better passives of attack and defense plus 60 percent when performing a super attack I'll go ahead and zoom in for you if you want to pause the video to take a look at the cards. Um, that's really it. That's all I really think for a best team for this. Uh, they're going to be ha they're going to have eight key. You really don't need the key or manipulation. You're really going to be focusing around the attack buffs. But that's what I think in terms of damage output um, and good good links together. Um, again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys have run in the past. I, I don't really think this is going to be a primary team. Most of you are going to run. It's more just for fun and for this specific event. Um, next one is going to be the last, well, and then the last one is going to be the new Pan Honey GT. She gets a Doken Awakening. I'm not going to go over this actual unit. She kind of stinks. The only time I've ever used her is on the actual uh, Omega Shenron event. So she gets a new Doken Awakening from her Pan Secret Adventure event. She requires five medals, which is going to be available. Uh, let's see, Pan Secret Adventure, and we have the new, the new level for her. Uh, level 2, more Pan Secret Adventure. You're going to go ahead and grab this. You get 400,000 rank experience, which is awesome. It doubles. And you could actually do both of them. So you do two levels, uh, two separate levels. At least that's how it was on the JP side when I was when I ran it a couple times. You were able to do level 1 and level 2 separately, which netted you 600,000 rank experience total. Um, I think it's really awesome. This is going to be available on stage 2 of this event. Then you can Doken Awaken her. When you Doken Awaken her, she is a new friend in space, Pan GT. Um, it looks like her leader ability recovers 1500 HP per key orb obtained of characters type obtained. Super attack, maiden burst, supreme damage with a chance to stun the enemy. Um, passive skill, growing up strong, recovers 30% of damage dealt as health. Um, high chance to reduce damage received by 50%. So I, she can come in handy, I guess. Um, I guess whatever you're trying to run. I think a GT team would be pretty good for her. Um, or a mono strength team, a mono hero strength team, and a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. I mean, honestly, again, the only time I ever ran her was when I was running against the Omega Shenron team just because she recovered HP and was part of the GT family. Link skills are all in the family. Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, The Innocence, More Than Meets the Eye, and Shattering Limit. She's part of the hybrid Saiyan category. Um, when you increase her super attack to uh, more than 5, she gets a nice buff. Max uh, max dupe system, or sorry, max stats are going to be HP of 94.77, attack of 72, 73, and defense of 47.68. Because she does do HP regeneration and 30% at that, on a 120 lead team, if you give her crits, she will be recovering a lot of health for you. So just keep that in mind. She doesn't have any really good buffs or anything like that, but at least on a 120 team, she'll probably get you some decent um, health recovered. 12 key multiplier is 140%. Her chance to stun is between 15 to 20%, and she will launch super attacks at 9 key bars when you increase her super attack to 5 or more. Um, so it wasn't an attack buff, I apologize. It was uh, just launching key, uh, super attacks early. Uh, personally, I don't really find her useful, but what can you do? She's here, she's available. I mean, if you run around a hybrid saying, I'm sure you'll get even more health back. Um, in terms of best linking buddies, I did throw it up here because, no, why the heck not? Um, you have essentially all the girl units except for Goku Jr. and Goku GT. Uh, so she has Bullpan over here, which obvious. Uh, GT, Shadowing the Limit, Battlefield Diva, Saiyan Lineage, More Than Meets the Eye, and The Innocence. So she gets 2, 4, 6, 7 key, attack plus 300, and 10% attack buff. She links with herself for 5 key links. Um, it's a different pan. Obviously, The Innocence, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, and GT. So that's 5 key, a defense buff of 15%, and attack buff of 15%. This whack Goku... 
deck plus 70% of the start of the turn, meh. Uh, four key links, so he has GT, Shattering Limit, that's why she links with him. You have All in the Family, uh, the same lineage there as well. And then you have the free-to-play Goku, who is a farmable free-to-play unit. All in the Family, same lineage, GT, and Shattering Limit as well. So that's who she links the best with. I'm not there. You're really never going to run her on a team, honestly, uh, unless there's specific conditions. I mean, just follow my channel if you want to, or whoever, whatever YouTuber you're following at the time, they will definitely let you know if she's ever going to be viable. But um, yeah, that's about it. I know I usually just do like actual news reviews when these cards come out, but I figured it was such a small amount of units. Let me just do one full in-depth video with covering everything. But um, anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop by. I hope this was very useful and informative for you. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Um, personally, I I'm really excited for this Goku. How much longer do you guys have until you get him? I did post up on the Multiverse, the one of the Facebook groups I'm in. Um, so if you guys are looking for to jump into like uh, any type of Facebook media for Dokkan Battle, go ahead and check us out there. Link's down in the description below. Um, I did post up about that, and I know a lot of you are very, very close to actually getting this reward so let me know in the comments below how long how much longer you guys have again 75 more days for me when i do it i'll definitely do a showcase but anyway guys thank you for joining me here today and i'll catch you all later peace